Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I have something a little bit different, uh, a little new hobby that I'm sort of getting into. I'm not going to go crazy with this hobby. It's just been something that I've been enjoying over the past couple of months, um, and it is card collecting. So I am going to start collecting a little bit of cards. Like I said, I don't want to go too deep into it. What I plan to do is if I ever see a pack or something of, of a series that I want to collect, my rule of thumb will be to only buy one of those packs. Now it doesn't need to be one box per series. For example, for Naruto, if they have several different boxes of cards, I can only buy one box per each of those boxes. Um, so that will be my plan moving forward. And for those boxes that I do buy, I actually only plan to keep half of the packs in those boxes. Uh, the other half, I will actually be selling them on a new platform called Whatnot. Uh, so whatnot, that's kind of what what this is all about. So I've been I've been exploring the app over like the past month or so. I started off with uh, Bam Collectibles. These cards right here are actually some cards that I got from him. Um, he started to sell on whatnot. He focuses mainly on Naruto cards. Um, I am gonna be collecting a few Naruto cards just because I do plan to display these uh, cards next to the, my statues, uh, similar to the way he does. I think it's a pretty cool way to display uh, your statues, so I do like that. But um, for me, I'm mainly gonna be collecting cards from anime series, from series that I love, like the Quintessential Quintuplets, and really most of these uh, Waze Schwartz cards. So this is what I will mainly be collecting on my channel and on what I will be selling on my whatnot. So, uh, so what I wanna do in this video is just share my experience over the past month with whatnot and also unbox a few cards for you guys just so you can see uh, what you can expect from these type of cards here. So I'll save the unboxing uh, for the end. I'm gonna put these cards over here to the right and let's talk about whatnot. So as I mentioned, I got these cards right here from Bam Collectibles and he has been killing it on whatnot, but uh, to share my experience with him, um, if you guys are interested in these cards, I got all I got eight packs from him. So he does auctions on his on his uh, packs. He, he sells Naruto packs. He does a little bit of different things. So sometimes he sells packs. Uh, other times he sells cards individually for a dollar each. Or other days he just sells entire boxes of these Naruto cards. So you can kind of pick and choose what you want to buy from him. But on the day that he was streaming, that I got these cards. Um, he was selling the packs, um, he was selling um, eight packs per, per bid. Uh, so on, on the WhatNot app, you are bidding for these guys. And I ended up winning um, eight packs of these Naruto cards. Um, on top of that, I actually won a giveaway because on the app, you can also do giveaways. And I ended up winning one of his giveaways, which was pretty cool. So I'll show you guys here in a bit. Um, but these right here, these are the cards that I plan to keep from the eight packs that I got from him. And these are the ones that I'm most likely going to be selling on the WhatNot app. And what I'm going to be doing is doing the dollar bid. So you can get these cards for as low as a dollar. Although there is a caveat to that because uh, on the WhatNot app, you do have to pay for the shipping. Shipping is generally, you, I don't know how that works. I haven't set up my seller's account yet. I do plan to do that pretty soon. Uh, but if you guys are interested in checking out my WhatNot, I'll put a link down below, which will also give you guys a $10 coupon for you can buy your first cards on there. So if you guys want any of these, I'll be selling them for a dollar each. Um, so you could get um, at least 10 of these, but let me go ahead and show you guys some of these cards. Um, they're pretty nice. I'm just trying to focus on, like I said, I don't want to get too deep into this, so I don't want to collect too many cards. I just want to collect the coolest ones that I like. Uh, so let's go ahead and go through these cards that I do plan to sell, and I'll kind of highlight some of the cooler ones that I think are worth it. So we got this guy right here. This is a rare. Uh, then we got a super rare of Kankudo. This one is actually pretty cool. Uh, this one is a rare. You can see the differences between the rares, super rares, and the different types of cards that you can get here. Uh, so these are all rares. Uh, this Choji is actually really nice for a rare. Um, again, Choji is not one of my favorite characters though, but this is a pretty nice card. Uh, then we got a rare right here of, I forgot the name, but it's uh, Kakashi's dog here. Uh, then we got another rare from the Sound Ninjas. Uh, we got a duplicate here, another Choji. Uh, this is Shikamaru's dad. This is a super rare. This one's actually really nice. And then we got Tamari, a rare. Another, I think this one's a duplicate. I think I already showed this one. Another Choji, super rare. Uh, we got the guy with the dog jutsu. I forgot his name. And then we got this super rare. 
Oh, this one's actually really cool. This, this is the same as another one that I showed off. This one's just a super rare compared to a rare. Let me show that so you guys can see the difference. Oh, never mind. Disregard. I thought these two were the same person, but nope, they are not. But yeah, this is a rare versus a super rare. Um, so, yep, those will be the cards that I will either be auctioning out for a dollar each, or I may even do some giveaways for some of these. So if you guys want some free stuff, go and check out the Whatnot. Um, so I'm going to put these to the side. These will be sold on the Whatnot app, if you guys are interested. Now let's go over the ones that I will actually be keeping in my collection. So uh, this is a Shoji, an uh, ultra rare. So these are a little bit uh, more of the rarer cards, and these look really nice. We got Obito. This one will definitely be being displayed next to a statue. Ultra rare here. We got Sai Ultra Rare. You know what? This one, I'm actually might I might I might do this one. I might actually sell this one. So if you guys are interested in this one, this is an ultra rare that will be auctioned off for a dollar on my uh whatnot. So yeah, I'm gonna put this one in my selling stack. We got Jiraiya. These, this one's pretty cool. It's sort of like a, I don't know what they call this, but we got these nice pink bluish colors that look really cool. I like them, so I'm gonna be keeping this one. I honestly don't know what this stands for. SLR, uh, super light rare maybe? I'm not too sure, but they look nice. I think I got a few of these. Uh, then we have a few lenticular cards, which I honestly really like these. So um, I may, I like them, but I may consider including these as part of the, the dollar auctions on my whatnot. But so if you guys are interested, like this one here though, I'm definitely keeping this one because I have a statues or statues coming that this would be perfect to go next to. So I'm gonna be keeping this one. I'll try to make my decision right now. Uh, we got Toby Rama. I don't have any statues of him, so I may, yeah, I'm gonna put this one in my selling stack. Really nice one here. Uh, then we got Sasuke. I love Sasuke. He's one of my favorite characters of Naruto. So I'm going to be keeping this one. Uh, we got Rock Lee. Uh, you know what? I'll be putting this one as one of the ones that we're going to be auctioning off for a dollar. Uh, we got Itachi and Sasuke. This one's really cute. I will be keeping this one. Uh, we got another Toby Rama. Uh, you know what? Since there is a duplicate, this one is pretty cool. I didn't know I had a duplicate. I'll be keeping one. You never know. I might end up getting a statue of him one day. And this card is honestly pretty nice. Uh, this one is really cool. I like this one. This one seems like it's one of those scenes from the openings. Uh, so I like this one. I'm going to be keeping that one. And then here we have another one of Sasuke and Naruto. And you know what? I, I prefer this one over this one. So I will be including this one as part of those dollar auctions if you guys are interested. All right, we're not done though. We got some more SLRs here. We got Sakura. This one actually fits very well with Sakura since she does kind of wear pink with her outfit. Um, I really like this one. Um, I know a lot of people shit on Sakura. I'm, I'm not too much of a hater on her. I, I enjoy her throughout the series. Uh, then we got Kuranai. Uh, I believe this is one of the free freebies that I got from um, from Bam Collectibles. This he gave me a choice between this one and I believe there was a Rock Lee. I chose this one. I thought this one looked really pretty. Like I really like the colors, the pink. And he's honestly a beautiful character in the series, so I did want to go ahead and get this one. Really nice card. This is an O R. I know this one is better than U R, but I don't know what the O stands for. Um, Omega Rare, maybe? Omega Rare? That seems to make sense. Uh, we got Deidara. I do want to get a card for each of the Akatsuki members, since you guys know I am building an Akatsuki collection. So this is the first of many that I need to get. Uh, for the Akatsuki, I actually really like the SSR, so I'm looking to hopefully get all of the SSR Akatsuki members for this uh, card series. Uh, right now, I have Deidara, and I think I have another one that I'll show you guys here in a bit. Uh, we got Chikamaro. This is just a rare, but I did like it. I thought it was nice, so I'll be keeping this one. Uh, this one's a Naruto rare. Uh, you know what? This one I may consider selling, so I'm going to put this one right here for now. Uh, here's another rare Sasuke. Um, another one that I might consider selling, so I'll put this one down here for now. Uh, here we got Naruto as a super rare. This one is nice, so I'll be keeping this one. We got Danzo here with the super rare. Again, this one I do have plans for displaying next to a statue. Um, for now, I have the super rare, but if I ever am able to get an ultra rare or something like that of Danzo, I may end up selling this one as part of a dollar auction. 
Uh, but for now, I will be keeping him. Oh, we got Karin, another one that I'm I, I, I'm gonna be keeping for now, but I'm hoping to get an ultra rare or something higher, higher rarity for her in the future because I have an awesome statue coming soon for her. Well, not just for her, but for Team Taka, like all of them. So, so I want a card of the whole team to display next to that statue. But yeah, for now, I have this rare. Uh, we got this Sasuke super rare. Another, do I already have this one? I think I, is this a duplicate? I think it might be a duplicate. Let me double check. Uh, nope, it's not a duplicate. These are the two that I have right now. They're different enough that I will keep both of them. I have a lot of Sasuke statues, so I, so I probably need a lot of his cards. We got this rare Naruto. This one is really nice. I'll be keeping that one. Ooh, and then these two SSRs. Like I said, SSRs are one of my, my, my favorite cards from this series. So uh, these will be going next to some statues. That's why I do have them sleeved up. These are two of the, my favorites that I have. They probably are my favorites in general. At least as a pair, these look perfect together. So I'm really happy to have gotten those. And then these, I, I don't know if Sonati was a freebie, but I know I got this one for free. This was one of the giveaways that he was doing, uh, which was really cool that I was able to get. Uh, but this one, honestly, I don't know. I don't know if it'll fit well in my collection. Um, so. I might consider selling this one. For now, I'm gonna put it down here and I may consider selling that one at an auction in on my whatnot. Uh, but this Sonate, ah oh man, I had a Sonate statue coming that would have been perfect for this one. But unfortunately, that statue got lost in transit and I did get my money back, but I no longer have a Sonate statue coming to my collection. Um, but I still do really like Sonate, so I will be keeping this card. This is. An SP, which is considered to be one of the more rarer cards of this collection. So yeah, really happy to have gotten this one. And that is everything that I got from BAM Collectibles. So uh, yeah, if you guys saw anything that you like of stuff that, I'll be, that I will be auctioning out or possibly giving away on my whatnot, uh, definitely consider giving me a follow on the whatnot. I don't have the setter account set up as of yet, but I do plan to set it up in the next couple of weeks. So look forward to that. All right, next up, we got some Bleach cards here. Um, I forgot where I got these from. Uh, I guess from looking at this, I got them from Anime 97 show on whatnot. Um, but to be honest, these are the only cards so far that I do regret getting. Um, I wanted to get them because when I saw the stream, he was I saw that he was selling some Bleach cards uh, and the pack looked pretty cool. So I was expecting the cards to be cool as well, but um, in the end, they weren't that great. And um, so I won't be displaying these next to statues, but these will definitely be freebies that I will be giving away on my uh, whatnot. So, so I'm gonna be putting these in my giveaway stack. All right, so right here, this was another uh, random seller on whatnot that I decided to join the stream on. Uh, he was selling some waifu cards is what he was promoting his stream as and so I decided to check it out He was selling singles. So here's kind of where I got the idea that I wanted to do this um, I liked what he was doing. So I'm probably gonna do the same uh, What was funny though is that on this guy's stream he was selling them and then somebody noticed that these cards are actually not um, officially licensed so he ended up stopped. He ended up having to stop setting these particular cards uh, because he was called out on the stream, which was pretty funny. But because he did sell these to me before um, he realized that he was setting unofficial cards, he did end up selling them either way. But these are the ones that I got from him. These were each a dollar each. So um, I was testing it out. Like I said, I've been testing the app out. So I saw these cards. I thought they were pretty cool. So I decided to get them. So we got, all right, so we got Ikimu Miku. The name is right there on the bottom of the card. One of my favorite characters from um, Food Wars. So I had to get this one for a dollar. Uh, then we got this girl. She, I, I, re, I recognized her from another one of my favorite animes, uh, Prison School. So I had to get this one as well. And I'm glad I did. Uh, I think it's a really nice card. And then the last one, I recognized her. Um, and she's really popular among figures. Like there's a lot of figures of her, really nice figures as well. Um, I don't know if I ever will get a figure of her, but I saw this card and I thought it was really nice. So I decided to go ahead and get it. So I got this Super Sonico SSR. I believe these are all labeled as SSRs. SSRs, yes. What's her name? I honestly don't know. 
Yeah, I would not remember that. Me, me the Rikawa? Hana? Wow, yeah, I don't recall that name at all. Uh, but yeah, these are the three cards that I got from a dollar from this random seller on whatnot. Um, unfortunately, I don't remember the seller, so I can't um, I can't shout him out and put a link to his whatnot down below. All right, but. now this next seller is actually one of my favorite streamers to watch now on whatnot. Um, just like BAM Collectibles, these are kind of the two that I kind of always try and catch their streams if I can. Uh, so let's open it up and I'll show you guys what I got from this seller. Um, by the way, I also got that box over there, but we'll talk about that here in a bit. Um, so these are the cards that I got from him. Um, he has a really neat thing going on. Like his selling tactic for these cards is honestly really interesting and it's something that I might take note of and incorporate maybe into my streams. But uh, yeah, he has something called the Waifu Arena, which is really similar to Heaven's Arena from Hunter x Hunter, if you guys recall. And I caught him out on that on the first stream, which is one of the reasons that I really love his stream because he is a fellow Hunter x Hunter fanboy just like I am. So I like the way he has it set up, but the way he has it set up is, is basically the more money that you put down onto like your bids, the more chances you get of getting super rare cards. Uh, let's just start off with the front here. We got this card here from, from Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid. Um, I honestly really like these cards. Uh, these are one of my favorite cards, honestly, out of all of the cards that I've seen so far even the quintessential quintuplet. So uh, that is why I decided to go ahead and get a box from him. Um, but yeah, this is, uh, what is this? A C H? I don't know what that means, but it's a pretty nice card that I got from him. Uh, here's another one of my favorite cards that I got from him. I got a Sakura Mato from uh, the Fate Stay Night series. Really cute card. I do really like this one. Uh, this was the one that I pulled as like my waifu card um, for bidding higher like this one is random so he has a bunch of cards that are considered to be pretty rare although honestly i don't know who this character is um oh so it looks like it's from uh, danmachi so no wonder i don't know I, ha I haven't seen that series yet so i don't know any of the characters on there but if you guys have seen it let me know what you guys think about this character here honestly though i'm not a big fan of this card so i probably will be auctioning this one out on my uh whatnot so i'm gonna be putting this one over here to the side uh, then we got a Yotsuba. We got a Yotsuba that is a nice holographic Yotsuba. I don't know. I think I already have this card. Uh, we'll take a look later, but if I do, uh, this one will be one of the ones that I'll be auctioning out as well. But for now, I don't know if I have this one, so I'm going to be putting it down here. All right, and here's the business card for Poke Madness. So Poke Madness, this is the stream that I've been watching. I love his streams. I've been, I have a lot of fun on his streams. So if you guys are going to check out Whatnot, also consider checking out his uh, his streams. They're really fun to watch. Um, and he has a lot of great cards if you guys are interested in these sort of Way Shores cards. Um, but yeah, pretty cool business card as well. I really like it. Continuing on, we got uh, this card right here from the Fate series, I believe. Yeah, Fate Stay Night. I'm gonna be putting this one as maybe a freebie card. We got this one here from, again, Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid. Uh, like I mentioned, like their card designs are really nice. I don't know why. They look like the manga panels. It's different from all the other cards that kind of focus more on the anime. So I thought that was really cool. We got another card from the Fate Stay Night series. Ooh, we got Rider. I do like me some Rider. So I will be keeping this one. We got Shiro. We got Evil Sakura. I love her in this form. Uh, we got this dude right here, Zouken. Zouken. I don't like this dude, so I won't be keeping this card. We got Archer. We got an Ichika. Another Dragon Maid card. We got another one here. I think the rest of these might be Dragon Maid cards. Um, but you guys can see that the artwork is more reminiscent of the manga, which is really cool. This one's really nice. Like even the, the non-rare cards, like this has no holographic or anything, but I like it. I think it's a really nice card. We got Nino, Yotsuba, Itsuki, Uesugi, Miku, and Ichika. These will all be auctioned out because I'm pretty sure I have all of these cards. I have a lot of 
quintessential quintuplet card already. So I'm just gonna go ahead and include these as part of the auctions if you guys are interested. All right, so yeah, once again, I did get these from Pokey Madness. Go check them out. Uh, really cool, dude. All right, now to explain all the stuff back here, um, all of this stuff will be part of the stuff that I will be um, selling or auctioning out on my whatnot. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna be doing it for my first live stream. I kinda wanna just test it out and do singles on my live stream, um, but eventually these will be on there. So I have over here, I have some packs of Rent a Girlfriend. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight packs of Rent a Girlfriend. And same thing here, we have eight packs of the quintessential quintuplets. I already bought one full box of the quintessential quintuplets. So uh, this is just extra stuff that I will be auctioning off on my uh, on my whatnot. So all of this, by the way, I got from Mercari, these and those box, those trial decks over there. Uh, so yep, right here we got a Miku trial deck, an Ichika trial deck, and a Nino trial deck. So these all contain a bunch of cards for Nino, Ichika, and Miku. Like I said, I already have a bunch of quintessential quintuplets, so I don't need these. Uh, these will be auctioned off over there if you guys are interested. Um, I still haven't decided how much I wanna start the auctions for these since you are getting quite a bit of cards. Um, I'm thinking I'm gonna start it like at $10 or so. That is a fair price for the amount of cards that you are getting on here. Um, so yeah. And then the last thing over here, as I mentioned, because I like the cards so much, I decided to get a box from Poke Madness. Um, so I will be opening this up on stream one day and I will be opening half of them for myself and the other half for you guys. So look forward to that on whatnot. All right, now to show you what you guys could possibly get in those eight packs of the quintessential quintuplets, I'm gonna be opening up these seven packs. This is from a box that I bought almost about a year ago. I still haven't opened them all up. So I wanna go ahead and open up the rest of these uh, since they are from my first box. I, I do wanna go ahead and open them all up just to, to see all of the rare cards that I do get in here. So let's go ahead and open these up one by one, starting off with this one. All right, so let's see what we got here. Iku, Yotsuba, Nino, Nino, Yotsuba, Ichika, Ichika. Oh, this is the rarer card here. We have a holographic effect on this Ichika. So I'm gonna be putting that one down. And then we have this sort of landscape card here. Uh, so I think in each of these packs, you do get a rarer card like this one. Uh, these are all commons, but they're they're also honestly also really nice. Some of them have really nice artwork. Like this one is super cute. We got Ichika with Yotsuba's little bow on there, um, and Yotsuba here. You get some really nice images. So overall, really nice cards. So yeah, let's go ahead and continue with the rest of these. Ooh, this one is really cute. We got Miku with Yotsuba's little bow. I really like that one. We got Itsuki, Itsuki. Ooh, Asugi. Wait, is there another card here? Nope. Uh, Yotsuba Miku. Really nice looking Miku. Uh, oh, we got two in here. So in some cases, you can get two holographic cards in one pack. And then we got another landscape card here. It looks like we get one of these in each of these packs as well. But yep, these are the two rare cards that I got. I'm gonna speed through the rest of these and just show you guys the, the rarer cards on here. All right, so here are all the ones that I'll be keeping. I wanna get all of the ones now with the girls in Yotsuba's um, bow. So I wanna check now how many of those I have, but yeah, some of these are really nice. Like this Ichika, really beautiful card. Uh, as you guys can see there, this one is just a rare, but it's really nice. So yeah, and then we got Miku in a bright outfit. This is a double rare. This one is really nice. I would love to get each of the girls in this type of card. We got a rare, common, 
And this one, this one I think is the same as the card that's over here. Let me double check. Okay, yeah, it's the exact same card. They're, they're both, oh wait, this one's a super rare and this one's a rare. So what's the difference? Let's, let's compare these two. All right, so the main thing that I see is that she kind of has an outline that's highlighted and with a holographic effect, whereas this one doesn't have that. So that's really the main difference. Oh, you she's also a little bit like zoomed in on this one, whereas you get to see more of Yotsubot on this one. I kind of like having her face closer up here. It's kind of, I don't know, to me, I prefer this one, but I also do like that holographic effect. So you know what? I'm gonna be keeping this ultra rare and this uh, rare, I will be auctioning out on my whatnot. So yeah, so I'll go ahead and put this one over here to the side along with all of these cards here that will be up for grabs as well. All right, now second to last thing I got to show you guys is this box that I got from AmiAmi. Um, like I said, I got into card collecting and on AmiAmi, they actually have a lot of goodies like for cards. Uh, they actually sell some waist shorts boxes on there as well. Although they seem to sell out super fast on there. So if you do want them, you kind of need to know when they're gonna go up for pre-order and you need to pre-order them right away. Um, I was able to get one box for Kaguya-sama Love is War on there. And I can't wait for those because I love Kaguya-sama Love is War. I can't wait to see the Chika and Kaguya cards. They're gonna look awesome. Um, but yeah, here, let's open it up and I'll show you guys these goodies in here. And inside we have this package. With, with some card sleeves. So they had a bunch of cute card sleeves and I decided to pick up a few of the ones that I liked. Uh, these were honestly really cheap on there. So if you guys do want some, uh, maybe consider going on AmiAmi and seeing if they still have some available. I got these each for like $5 each uh, plus shipping. Uh, so I'm probably gonna be, when I do start selling, I'm probably gonna be using some of these sleeves to give, give away to you guys with some of the cards that you guys win. So I got a Tanjiro sleeve here. We got Nezuko sleeves. We got Emilia sleeves, best girl from ReZero. And we got some Rengoku sleeves. They actually do have uh, sleeves for Zenitsu and uh, Inosuke if you guys want sort of like the, the full team there. But I thought for now, I mean, this is more than enough, I think, for the cards that I own or for cards that I plan to sell off. So but yeah, that's what I got for you guys. Uh, now let's go ahead. We got one more thing to show you guys. As I mentioned, this was second to last. Ugh. Lastly, I got a package from Amazon. I'm gonna open it off screen. And I got my first uh, card binder. Uh, I was looking for card binders and I ran into this one and I love Gengar. So when I saw this one, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna get this one. This one is really nice. Uh, the quality is actually pretty good too. Um, so this will be my first binder that I fill up with cards. Um, I, I, I won't be collecting Pokemon cards. I don't wanna get into that, but um, I had to get this binder. So I'll be putting all of my waifus, all of my anime cards in here. So let's open it up and see what we get inside. The zipper works really nicely as well. It's not cheap or anything like that. Uh, so, yep, we just get a bunch of sleeves. Uh, let me go ahead and fill these up and I'll show you guys my complete card collection as of today. All right, so let's go through the collection. For Naruto, I'm putting the SPs first and we got Tsunade there. Uh, then we go into the SSRs. These are my favorite, as I've mentioned before. We got Naruto, Sasuke, and Deidara. Uh, then we go into the SLRs. Right now I only have Jiraiya and Sakura. Then we go into the Ultra Rares. These are the Lenticulars. My Super Rares. And then finally my Rares here. So that's all I got for Naruto so far. Uh, now we're moving into the quintessential quintuplets. Uh, for the first ones here, we're going into the super rares. So I have a bit of super rares there. I wish I could get all of the girls here in the super rares for this version right here. I think that would be pretty cool to have all of those. Uh, and then we have two that I noticed that have um, 
double rare plus so i put these separately right now i only have a yotsuba and an itsuki uh, then these are just the double rares i love these right here i i just need two more and i'll have all of the quints in their wedding version so that's really awesome right there although i have to say that my favorite of the double rares has to be this nino right here this one looks really nice and then again for my rares, my favorite one is this Nino in her Christmas outfit. I think that one looks super cute. Uh, and then I'd probably say this Itsuki in her pajamas. I like. I really like that one as well. I also really like this one. I like because it's like a black background, but it has a holographic effect. And I think it looks really cool. Uh, here we do go all the way to the bottom. So we have a few more rares down there. And if I flip it... Uh, we have a few rares here on the back as well. So you do get a lot of rares with these packs. And the rares are honestly really nice. I really like the rares. Uh, then we move on to the TDs. I honestly don't know what TD means, but I do like that I have the full set of these, including Uesugi. Uh, then we move on to the PRs. Again, all I have for the PRs is this set. I do love the fact that I have the full set of the girls. Um, after that, we finally go into the uncommons. I really like this one where we have all the quints when they were younger. And I really like these where we have the girls with the, the Yotsuba bun. Um, another weird thing though is that they aren't the same type of card. So this is an uncommon and then the rest over here are common. So we have Miku with that bun as well, but that one's just a common. Um, but yeah, we got a bunch of uncommons here. And then this completes the uncommons. And then we move into the commons. No particular order, to be honest. By this point, I was just starting to put them in, however. Um, I think what I did was I did Miku first, then Nino cards, then Yotsuba cards, Ichika cards, and then Itsuki here at the end, and Uesugi. And then over here, we have one more Uesugi that is a common. And then the rest of these are sort of those landscape cards, which you kind of have to look at like this. And that does complete my quintessential quintuplets cards. Next, we're moving into the sort of like the random cards that I have so far. Uh, so these are the waifu cards. I've already talked about those. I really like the Sonic. I think the Sonic is actually my favorite between those three. Uh, then we have the uh, Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid. These are the cards that I am going to keep. Any, any of the ones that you don't see here will be up for auction. I also included Pokey Madness card here just because I think it's a pretty cool card. And I did get these from him. And then the last set of cards is the Fate Stay Night cards. Um, I really do want more of these because I love this Sakura. I would love more like rares, ultra rares, um, those sort of like the shiny cards for Fate's Day Night. Um, so I do plan to collect more of this. And then that's it. We just have more clear files here for more cards. Um, I can't wait to start to fill this one up more once I start collecting more cards. But for now, uh, this is what I got. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. I think this was a lot longer than I had expected it to be. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next video.